right. <clears throat> Here's a fix for you guys with the Elgato HD60X who use the 4K capture utility. I've been seeing that there's a lot of people with issues of it skipping and pretty much crap recordings. Now, if you hold the control key and click on the little gear here, you get a couple more options than what you normally would. So you could check for firmware updates, software updates. You always want to do that. If you're up to date and you're still having issues, you're going to go over to recording. You can put this preset to balanced or best, or even try if it's on fast, putting it to fast. Obviously, you're always going to use your, your graphics card if you don't have a decent one. Do software built in. One of the things you can do, I don't know if you guys know this, but the regular game capture software can only record up to 40 megabytes per second. So put this to 40. If your recordings are still trash at that point, then you're recording to a hard drive that is not quick. That That's going to be your, your bottleneck. Um, the best thing I could tell you is get an uh, SSD, a cheap one. Doesn't matter if it's like 250 gigs or even 400 or 500. You can get them pretty cheap nowadays. And as long, obviously, you need a USB 3.0 to run the Elgato, you need to have another USB 3.0 port free. Hook up the SSD, and there you go. Record to that, and you'll notice your recordings are not buggy anymore. They're not choppy, they're not laggy. Um, if for some reason you are still having issues, even putting it to 40, putting it to your graphics card, doing fast or best, trying out these different presets, and you're still getting lag, try running the 4K Capture utility as admin. And at that point, if you're still having issues, which I would hope you wouldn't be, uh, it just might be that your system is not good enough. So the next alternative for you would be to use OBS. Um, OBS is actually pretty nice with the using it with the Elgato card. Because obviously, for some reason, Elgato's made it where you can't record uh, at 120 here. But you can actually set it on OBS and record at 120. So there is perks to using the Elgato software to then using OBS. Some people like this because of the flashback recording, but they don't realize that you can actually set that up on OBS as well. So, again, the best thing I could tell you is to try everything I said here, and if none of that works, then you, your computer is just not, not beefy enough. Uh, you shouldn't really need a beefy one, but again, most of the time, from what I'm seeing, the bottleneck is where people are recording to. They don't realize that... A regular hard drive, your write speed and read speed might only be 20, 20 megabytes, right? So you're, you're going to chug when you're trying to record. You need something that is quick in a solid state. You can only have 200 megabytes write speed, 400, 500, depending on the type you get. So at that point, as you can see, if you're recording at 60, you should have no problem. And if you are bottlenecked by your hard drive and don't want to waste money, find out what your hard drive speed is and try setting the Elgato a couple megabytes below what your read and write is for your hard drive. And there you go. Problem fixed. I want to be the greatest. Everybody on the face shit. I look around and feel like everybody is the fakest. I make this every day and I'm impatient. Hoping one day I blow up.